What's up everyone, Takedown here, back with another hockey card video. Today is another eBay mystery pack, and this is what I received here. Now it claims that there is going to be 8 cards total, and it was only $10 free shipping, and that there's going to be no base, they're all going to be inserts. So hopefully I find something good here. I always like to buy the mystery packs and gamble a little bit, as long as they're not too expensive, in hopes that I find a card or a few cards that are going to be perfect in my collection that I'm going to love. So let's just get into the opening here. Up first is a canvas card for Patrick Maroon. Now, I absolutely love the player. It's just I don't get too many of his cards. But if you guys remember correctly, back when I started collecting hockey cards, I love the canvas cards. They look so good. I absolutely love that. So that's a great card for me to add to my collection. Love the player and love the canvas cards. I just don't get them too much anymore. Next is a clear-cut premiere for, uh, it's out of 1,999. Uh, this must be an older player. I can't remember him. I'm not familiar with him, so I'm going to try my best. Pierre Lelectorno LeBlond. So not familiar with this player. Um, 0809, that is why. So I do like getting the clear-cuts. It is a numbered card, but I just don't get them too much. So I don't know if I'm going to keep this in my collection or not or get rid of it. Next is a Young Guns for Trevor Murphy. Now, I love the Coyotes. This one here is an 18, 19 Young Guns. And I love collecting Young Guns cards. They're just awesome to get in my collection. Next, hmm, I'm not sure what this, this will be. Jeff Odgers, probably butchers his name, an older Boston player. Let's see what it says here. Uh, 1997 is this card. However, if you can look here closely, it appears to have been autographed, except it looks like the autograph was done with, I don't know if it was a Sharpie or not, because it looks like it's coming off in different sections. So that card there, I'm not 100% sure if it was a, um, how do I word this? If it was an authentic autographed card or if it is a fake that it's not a real upper deck autographed card so i'm not 100 sure i'll have to do some research on that next is a rookie showdown for zach Prezi and travis zajaka uh, i butchered the last name but i don't really know the player too much so that's not too bad it's like a dual rookie card for opichi next is artifacts scott hartnell Numbered out of 399. This is Artifacts Ruby. So I like the Flyers. This is a great card for me. I will add that to my collection. I have been collecting a lot of Flyers lately. Next is Grant McNeil. And it is his Young Guns card for Florida Panthers. Now this card here. Um, I can't seem to see a year on it. 0304 by the looks of it. it looks like he was drafted in the third round in 2001 so an older young guns not too familiar with the player but still a young guns and the last card in the pack another flyers card it is a dual jersey dean Le dean's list for thomas divisek not familiar with him, and John LeClaire, a dual jersey card. It's numbered out of a 1,000, so that's awesome. Another Flyers card. Let's see if I can get the year on this one. For some reason, I can't seem to. Oh, 2002. All right, that's not too bad. This is a really nice card. It is a thinner jersey card, and surprisingly, it's coming out the back. Like it's, it's It should have been a thicker card. Because you can see the patch here where it's been printed over. Not too bad. I like the Flyers. This is a great card to add to my collection. Now I'm not sure. These cards here, there were a total of $10 to get all of these. So again, I don't know if the value is there. Four cards per pack. They were actually $5 each from the seller. But honestly, I had fun there is no base cards. Other than this one, it might be fake, so it might just be the base card and somebody faked an autograph on it. 
Other than that, I absolutely love these cards. I think they're awesome. And quite a few of them are going to be great additions to my collection. So I hope you guys enjoyed this hockey card video. I absolutely love getting the eBay mystery packs now. It is a little bit of a gamble, but as long as they're not too much money and the ad says, hopefully I'll get some good things out of it. I'm going to try to keep doing that in the future. So I'll see you guys in the next hockey card video. Please take care. Peace.